Greetings, Great Witch here. Today we're going to do Hard Labor. This is a level 19 mission available from Gerald. And this can be a major pain in the butt for a level 19 mission. So when I get here, first thing I like to do is park my car right about here, get out, switch over to the sniper rifle, because we're going to snipe some guys real quick. So I want to come back here, and there's a little spot right here on the ground that's perfect for figuring out where you need to be. So about right there. You want to aim right up here on these stairs. You want to take out this guy right here and immediately swing to the left and take out this guy right here by the wood. Now once you got those two guys down, you want to come over to this little pillar, stand up on top of here, and we're going to take out some other guys. There's a guy right here by this vehicle. Take him out and swing over to the right. There's a guy right here. Now you want to shoot the guy in the back first. Hit him and then shoot the guy in the front. And then the guy that's in the back will be standing up and you'll be able to shoot him through the car. Just like that. Alright, so now you got those guys. Now we're going to run across the street. So you got one more guy to take out. So now we'll scope in on this car right here. Shoot him in the leg from underneath. And then when he stands up, take him out through the car. Just like that. Now you want to quickly scan right over here in this area because sometimes a guy will show up and you want to take that guy out before you run across this field. Now the weapon I like to use for this next part is the AP pistol because it shoots a lot of rounds fast and it's very accurate because these guys that you're going after are extremely accurate. They have heavy armor on and they are very hard to kill. So you come to these steps right here what you want to do is you want to kind of peekaboo right over the top of these steps. Because as soon as you poke your head out, these guys are going to start shooting. And that will let you see where they're at. So if you can't get them to pop up, while well, they're right here. So you can take them out. What's a good idea to do is just aim down right here on this right side. And there's a gas tank. And just shoot that. It'll explode. It'll take out a couple guys. And then you can run up to cover right here. So then you see these guys. Get a couple shots. You're still too back too far for the AP pistol. So move up a little bit and you can start taking out these guys. Got that one. And as soon as you shoot these guys, they're going to drop. So you have to get as many rounds into them as fast as possible. Move up one more time. And you really, really want to use cover. Because if you're not using cover, you're going to get dead fast. Now we'll scope in and take out this guy here. And you'll see three shots to kill this guy with this heavy sniper. That shows you how strong their armor is. So if you're not getting them with a headshot, you're going to be putting some serious ammo into them. I think somebody just took my picture. Alright, so we're going to move up again to this next guy. Now he, the shotguns in this game are amazingly accurate and can hit you from a super long range. It's amazing. I wish I had the shotgun ammo that these guys have. So anybody who's shooting a shotgun, don't think they can't hit you. They can still hit you. It's like they're shooting slugs. So now we got one guy left over here. We're going to run all the way around over on this side and sneak up behind this guy and take him out. So there he is. Shoot him in the head like that. Now, even though I've got this set to where I'm locked on, most of these shots that I'm making are going to be free aim. I'd say probably about 50%. So you want to keep that in mind. You're going to have to make a lot of free aim shots in this. Now, if you move up like the way I am right here, this guy can't really get you because he's tucked in. Now, if you move out in front of that ramp, he can eat you alive with the mini SMG that he's got. So if you can get him like this, this will help out a lot. But usually the best way to take him out is just to run up the ramp and charge him. I even tried to throw some smoke up there. It just bounces around. If you try to throw grenades, it does pretty much the same thing. So pretty much the best way to take this guy out is just stay right behind this little thing that he's behind. And then just run up and rush him. And then you get him just like that. Now, you want to put on armor because as soon as you turn this corner, you're going to get shot as you go up this next rail because each of these levels increase in difficulty and take this guy out he's gonna pop right back up and like I said as soon as you shoot him they drop right down to the ground so you can't keep getting more bullets into him now there's a guy back here standing 
I'm gonna drop him just like that. Hello, love. All right, so now he's done. Now come right over this way, and we're gonna get this guy. It's right over there in the same spot. He's kind of. It depends on where he is. He can be right in that area somewhere. There he is. So what we'll do is aim down low, shoot him in the legs, take him out. Just like that. Now you want to switch over to a machine gun with some range because there's a guy right down there and he is hard to get. And you don't want to go down there because there are a lot of guys down there that will just instantly annihilate you. So if you can't shoot him like this, just waiting for him to pop out. A good trick to do is just throw a tear gas down there and that's pretty much the best way to take this guy out just fling it down there the tear gas will explode and sometimes it might even take out some of the other guys so now you want to come to this wall right here now this is probably the hardest part of this level is this area right here so all i do is i try to make this explode it'll stun some of the guys try to take out some of the other guys while they're stunned it kind of works it's just it depends on the firing range and which guys are popping up and which guys aren't. But what I try to do is try to move over all the way to here and then try to take these guys out. But as you can see, I got shot a lot. So you want to make sure you have your armor and your snacks up before you even try to attempt something like that. So that's really kind of a high risk move what I did because I could have just moved up to that other concrete pile. But you get a better shooting range over here. Even though I am getting shot by that other guy in the back, I can take out these other guys easily. I'm just moving through them, hitting each one a couple times, and just slowly chipping away at them until I kill them out. Now I can get that guy that's in the back. Like I said, as soon as you hit them with one bullet, they fall to the ground. So you can't get another round into them. So you have to move closer. Or you could you pull out your sniper rifle, but if you do that, that dude's going to eat you up before you get the shot in. So just move up using cover. This is the one thing I like about this mission is it teaches you to use cover in combat situations, which is a really good thing for doing. Because if you're just running down the middle of the street getting, and you're just eating up your armor and getting shot, it's stupid. Now this guy back here, he is tucked in and he will not shoot at you unless you give yourself away or just stand there or something like that so you got to really get close before you can take him out and I want to make him suffer so I'm going to use my shotgun just because it made me take so long to get up this end and this mission does take a while to do it's just you have to move slow because the guys are just they're really accurate and hard to kill but it's a really cool mission for training so now I'm only going to use snacks because there's a free armor right up here that I can get. So I'll run over here. Now, right before you go all the way back, you want to take out this guy. It's up here on these steps. Now, normally when I do this mission, as soon as I get the text from Gerald that says the bad guy is the boss has already taken off, that's usually when I give up on the rest of this mission. I don't go up onto the roof because the only thing up on the roof is death. So I usually don't even mess with this part right here, and I'll just go right down on the ground and go to the next part of the mission. But I'm going to show you all how to get through the top in case you want to do that. So this guy right here, he's basically like the guy that was below. He's tucked in, really hard to get. You can run up the ramp and charge him. But with the guys on the roof, you run the risk of getting shot, shot by a couple of them. So just kind of take him out. You could pop up the sniper and just take him out real easy right here. I don't know why. I just sat there and just kept shooting him with this gun, I guess, just to make him suffer. All right, so now we'll come back around here and you want to take cover as you come out in case that guy didn't die from the smoke that you threw the first time because he'd still be sitting there. So now you want to run up these little ramp area. We'll grab this free armor, take cover. And there's a guy right there you can shoot in the head. Boom, now he's dead. Now as you go up this ramp, this is the hardest level on this and all of the guys, as you can see, are hidden on the mini map except for a couple. So as you come up there, they are going to be randomized. So you're going to have to slowly move around and see where these guys are as you come to the top. Because they could be anywhere. And as they pop up, you're going to have to drop them and find them. Because they could just be anywhere. They're hiding behind you and you think that you got everybody. And the guy will just step right behind you and kill you. And the mission's over. And it sucks. So their next move is to go to that concrete pile that I'm pointing at right now. 
So if you got everybody to where you can see, that's your next move is to move to there. There's a guy way back there. There's going to be two guys right there. And this is the first one. You can get him pretty quick. As soon as he dies, another guy pops up right there. So you got that guy. And then there's another guy way back there. So we're going to go with this first guy here. So the other guy can't get us. So get him. Got that guy. Get this guy. Now they're all gone. Next move is up to the blue container right there on the edge. There's going to be a guy with a shotgun right on the other side. Don't get too close. Because he'll get you. Ooh, I almost messed up. Alright, so now you take that guy out. Now if you turn around and look, there's a guy right back there. He's got a shotgun. Wham! Instant hit. Best guy, best shooting with a shotgun you'll ever see. Alright, so now there's one more guy left. And we'll move up to that wood pile and we'll take him out. And then there's that last guy. There we go. Now, all of the guys on the construction site are dead. Now we can go for the second part, which you might think would be, hey, we get to go kill the gang boss. No, we don't get to go take him out yet. Now we've got a bunch of guys coming in six vehicles that we're going to have to deal with. So basically the second wave of this mission. So what I'll do is switch over to my heavy machine gun, and then we're going to run back and get in the vehicle. So let's run him back. And like I said, this mission for a level 19 is a lot of work. It's a lot of killing, a lot of just a lot of everything. And it doesn't really have a good payout. It's only about $19,000. So the amount of work that you're doing for this mission is not really worth the payout for this mission. So I don't use this one as one of my money making ones, but it is fun for training. All right, so now as we get over here, got a good area for cover and we're going to wait for the vehicles to show up. Like I said, there's going to be six of them with two guys inside of each one. And they're just as accurate, if not more, than the original ones. So throw in some armor, which makes me mad. Why can't I have more than just heavy armor? Because I only needed to fill up half of that. And it would have been awesome just to be able to use a, a smaller armor to fill that in. That's one of the things that annoys me about this game. All right, so we'll let these guys get over here. And as you can notice, they're all heading to an area that's just out of the range of your weapons, which is just about typical for GTA. So you can either just sit here and wait for them to get out and slowly make their way to you and take them out like that, just shooting them like this, or use whatever rockets or whatever you want to use. It's all up to you. I don't use this as a money-making mission, so I pretty much just do whatever I need just to finish the mission. And both of those grenades basically did nothing. So just use your guns, shoot them, however you're going to do it. Take out these guys. Because if you don't, they're going to chase you down. And the way that the traffic patterns are now, it will make it nearly impossible to get to where you need to go. So it's best just to kill all these guys. They won't respawn. And you don't have to deal with them later. So as the rest of these guys are starting to show up, got the fourth truck showing up. Take out this guy up here. It's up on top of the balcony. Here comes the rest of the cars. Wait for these guys to come down here. All right, so what's going on? All right, it seems like that everybody's stuck or something like that. And if this happens, you might just have to, you know, use the grenade launcher or something stir everything up like I'm about to see if that'll help out and it was because there was a vehicle stuck in there now everybody's here everything's working now we'll take out the rest of these guys I don't know what I was locking on to over there and it looks like all the secondary explosions are gonna take out everybody else and we're all good Okay, everybody's dead. So now we'll just jump in the car and we'll drive over to where the final mission objective is, is taking out the gang boss. It's about two and a half miles away, so I'll speed this up. Take this long drive in the rain. But this last part of the mission is the easiest part of the mission. The hardest part of this part is just driving here. 
So once you get here, there'll be a few guys down on the ground. You can just snipe them. Or you can just wait till the boss walks over and you can take him out. That's him moving over from the left. And just shoot him, kill him, and the mission's over. And like I said, the mission payout isn't really that great on this, but it's a good training mission. Alright, this is Grey Witch. I hope this helps you out, and I will see you next time. Peace!